Welcome to an episode of Fairway Divorce Den. I want to talk to you today about what I call the painted picture. The painted picture is the picture of your future. It is your vision board. Now we've heard lots of talk about that. There was what the bleep do I know or he know, I can't remember, uh, the secret. Um, many, many great thought leaders out there have been the grandfathers and the thinkers behind and taken it to a whole other level about how we can manifest, how what we believe is put forth and manifested in the future. In divorce, it is particularly true. It's particularly true that how we are when we envision how we're going to go through divorce will be manifested. In other words, if we go through it to have our other, our spouse be penalized, or if we want vindication through divorce, guess what? We're projecting how it's going to go, which is a disaster. However, we can also move through it in a way that says, I want to create a painted picture. I want to put together a vision board of what the future looks like. It's the new me. It's the me that's evolved and learned from the lessons. It's a great mother, father. It's a great friend, daughter, sister. It's a great co-parent. And I'm going to find pictures. I'm going to put those on a board. I'm going to draw pictures. I'm going to do a slideshow. I personally have a slideshow and I watch, read it and watch it every single week to remind myself of where I want to go and how I'm going to get there. I don't want to find up. I ended up in Sylvan Lake when I was trying to go to Red Deer. So you need to have a plan. You need to have a roadmap. You don't necessarily need to know how you're going to get there. And that's the fallacy. Just have a vision. And I call that the painted picture. And when our clients come to us, one of the first things we do at the very beginning of our process is we try and get people to start thinking about the future. Let go of the past. Embrace the lessons from the past and learn from the past, but start to paint your picture. When you do that, when you do that, you will be amazed about what starts to show up on your life. You will be absolutely thrilled to see that you have the power and you do. And if you don't believe me, then read a lot of those fabulous thought leaders that are out there like John D. Martini, Deepak Sartre. You know, even, even if you read the, even if you are religious and you go to back to some of the sacred religious beliefs and studies, you will find that people have the ability to manifest. We have the ability to create the future, but it's our thoughts that are either going to create a good future or a negative future. That's it. Nobody else. It's our thoughts. So create your picture, painted picture, whether it's a slideshow on your computer, whether you're sitting around with a glass of wine or a beer and cutting out pictures and pasting them on a board, whether it's a story, I like pictures though, create your picture and start focusing on that. That will change your life. It's that simple. So thanks for joining me with another episode of The Divorce Den.